Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to install Windows Server 2016 technical preview. The latest technical preview which was released by Microsoft was version 4. So I am going to use the virtual environment to install the Windows Server 2016 technical preview 4. So I am using the Workstation 12 Pro version, the VMware Workstation. So let's go for the installation. So I'm going to create a new virtual machine. So let's select typical, select next, and this is the ISO file which was downloaded from the Microsoft website. So here you can see it was about 4.8 GB and here I'm going to select next after selecting the disk image. Here let's leave it as it is and select next. So we just give S. Here I'm going to name it as Windows Server 2016. So there is only one version which is available for Windows 2016 that is the X64 that is a 64-bit version of the Windows Server 2016 there is no 32-bit available for both 2012 and 2016 so here So select next after selecting the location to save the VM file and it was asking for the location which is different. Select continue and here I am going to select minimum of 20 GB to store the VM DK file. So I am going to store it in a single file. So select next. I am going to customize the hardware. I'm going to remove the printer since I'm using the virtual machine. So network is an ad network, USB controller is present, sound card and display. Okay, it's finished. Let's go and start. So it will take some time for creating the virtual disk. So the VMDK file was creating, you can see here it was about 4.83 GB. Let's wait for some time to get completed. So it is completed and it was starting. Let's do OK and close this to go to full screen. was done it will go to the installation process
So here you can see there are two options which is available and both are Cisco bit architecture. Here you can see the first one is the core mode and the second one is the desktop mode. That is it was having the GUI and it was not this one was not having the GUI mode. So here you can see it does not include a GUI. And here you can see this option is used when a GUI is open. So at first I will require the core version of Windows Server 2016. Select next. So the minimum RAM which I have given is 1 GB. So installation was started. So it will take around few minutes. Let's pause the video. So the installation was completed. So it will take a few moments to restart the server. So it took around 10 minutes to complete the installation. Now you can wait for some time to restart. The setup was starting. So here you can see it was installing the device drivers. The devices are getting ready. After this process gets complete, it will go directly into the command. Since we have installed the core version of the Windows Server 2016, you will not get any GUI here. So you will get only the command. So you need to use the command prop commands and also the PowerShell to work with the Server 2016 core edition. So it proceeds restarting again.
logins here you can see it was preparing the local manager session manager and the login which I have used is then then it is a default login which I have given Since it was the first time, it was taking too much time to configure the server, so you need to be patient. So it has finished. Here you can see the login has came and it is verifying some files. Let's wait. Yeah, it was done. Here you can see all the contacts desktop documents downloads where is all the folders you are having let's go back and here as it is it is the same and here you can see you are having four folders one is the windows directory users program files for x86 and program files for x64 and performance files and let's go to the PowerShell. Since it was the first time configuration, it will take the X some time. So be patient to get it started and don't close the command. If you close, it will get shut down. So it is adjusting for the screen resolution. I think there is some bug while configuring the partial. It is the first time configuration. Now it has come. And you can and here you have. So this is how we will install and configure the Windows Server 2016. And in my next video I will show you how to install the GUI version of the Windows Server 2016. So here you are having only the PowerShell and the command prompt. So you need to know the PowerShell and command prompt commands to work on it. So in my next video I will show you more and more videos regarding the Windows Server 2016. And right now, thank you for watching the video. The subscribe so that I can post more and more videos regarding the Windows Server 2016. Thank you for watching.